Hello, 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 hello. Hope all is well, pray all is well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, um, subscriber, newly subscriber, everyone is welcome with high positive frequency vibration only. So if you are here with me, give me some depth, boop, boop, give me some of that. So I was just checking our love, how we are feeling on the inside since we now know that we are activating from the heart chakra and all. So something just made me feel that I need to check up on it. I need to check up on it. So, what I got was my beloved. My beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends. Touch your mouth. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Sometimes we may feel alone. Sometimes we may feel like that our person is really not here. You know? But just knowing, even though you guys may be physically apart, we have to know that we are activated and that we do live in a spiritual realm. So they are with us. Love transcend, transcend space and time. There's nothing missing. So find your strength. Find your strength and be in your strength. On your journey, right? On your journey. Because due to the fact this be love is the magician. So this clarifying the spiritual realm. Even though you guys may be physically apart, spiritually, as you manifest things of the unknown, we are manifesting things to appear. We are manifesting things to come to us, right? So your person that is within spirit that you are manifesting, that you keeping your strength and hope and faith, that they will. I mean, you already seen them. You already know. Yes, this may be an uncomfortable and comfortable situation to be in. Okay? Letting spirit help you. Let, letting spirit guide you. If you are the one who manifests in love, remain in your strength. Remain in your power. Keep your faith. Keep your hope on your journey. Because it's here. It is here. Nothing is missing. There's nothing, nothing is missing. So this uncomfortable situation, the nine of cups, you are sitting here comfortable. You, can, you might can be uncomfortable on your journey because you may feel by yourself, but deep within your spirit, you know you have someone, you know that you are not alone. Look, y'all, this situation right here involves marriage. It's about marriage because there's a strong magnetic attraction here. You got chemistry. And the chemistry is the passion. Like you very passionate. That's why you, you passionate on your journey. You passionate about the things that you call and stay out into the universe. That is still given to you, my beloved. That is still given to you to be in your strength on your journey. So this wedding chemistry and passion it's also clarified by getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bonds deepens, right? So pay attention to the red flags because the signs may be cautioning you due to the fact that the passion, due to the fact of the chemistry. So most people will, what you manifest and call out into the spirit to having, to having reality most people will come to you with a strong attraction. And, and that's something you need to pay attention to because that strong att um, attraction may not be what you call thing. So you know what you need to do? 
let go of control issues if that's the case and still remain strong on your journey. Allow this situation to unfold naturally by paying attention to red flags, by letting go of control issues, by getting to know, by being patient, remaining in your strength, getting to know this person that you are fin to be involved with. Okay, this finna have a marriage, a higher level of commitment. Okay, this 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 particular person that you are calling out, even though you guys are physically apart, but spiritually y'all are uniting. You feel that? That's that's the chemistry and passion that you know is true. That you know you call them without no, a shadow of a doubt, and it's uncomfortable. Because you might be the person like, I want my love now. I need my love now. But, you know, remain in your strength as a magician. Keep on manifesting. Use that strength. Use that deep, strong emotion to continue to manifest this, this wedding. Your chemistry. The bond with your person. This is you guys. Look, look at that. This is you guys. Out of all, this is what you want. These are a man and a woman, a man and a woman, a man and a woman. No one else. Nobody else. Due to the fact you kept your strength on your journey, you kept your mind focused, you kept the vision alive, you was letting go of control issues, and plus, you was paying attention to the red flag, and you got to know one another throughout it all. Throughout all of this. That's a journey to share with someone physically apart. To share with someone that is spiritually united with you. There's nothing missing. And it may feel uncomfortable. But this is what's been given to you due to the fact that you manifest this spiritual love connection. So I just want you guys to just really understand this this was just beautiful you know that this connection is protected overall we seven minutes in i do want to clarify this um the romantic oracles to get an outcome clarify this wedding and get them to know each other holy spirit before we close out This is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at, at work in your love life. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Meaning be physically apart but spiritually connected. And let go of control issues. You know, let go of the codependency. Let go of the addiction that are affecting your romantic life. That's keeping you away from the passion. We already know this. And why you are physically apart, baby. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And I believe most of you guys really have been enjoying your moments to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Let me clarify this overall energy for your beloved. There's too much. There's too much. I need one card. Ugh. God is of the moon. You already know. Life path, somebody life path number can be number seven. But the goddess of the moon is. Before we close out, y'all, I'm trying to get, get, get to it. Is intuition and going within. Sound like a spiritual journey to me. Is your intuition and going within. If this resonates with you guys. Welcome to Love In, welcome to Spiritual Journey In, and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Until next time, stay up, collector, and I will be back with another read.